Hey everybody, this is Jeff. Today is September 4th, 2018. It is Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm just going to kind of go over a few things. It's really fun to do and it actually means the world of people. In this world where everybody thinks that big gestures of kindness have to mean something, they forget that big gestures of kindness don't mean anything at all. What I'm saying to that is it doesn't mean that it's not important that we do big things, but a simple hi, a simple how you doing, a simple, hey, I just want you to know that you matter. And you take a little bit of your time to tell them that. Not like in a mass email or a mass text message or something that you send out to everybody where you don't even know who it's going to, but something that comes directly from the heart, something that comes directly from you. So that's the reason why when I tell everybody, make sure to call your friends and family, let them know that they matter. Let them know they're important. There's a reason for it, okay? There are people out there, they may think you're the craziest guy in the world, but whenever they hear from you, they know they're hearing directly from you and nobody else. When I send something to somebody, I make sure that it's sent to them. And the reason why is because we get so fast in our everyday life that we forget the small things. The small things mean more than anything else. It's like a kid going to a parade, okay? Uh, I was watching the Keokuk Day Parade, which I've been in several times, but this year I wasn't. And it's really funny because the smallest things make the kids the happiest. And when all of a sudden you throw uh, candy, the kids get to run out and get the candy and everything else, you wouldn't think that would be a big deal. But it turns out for that child that got to get that candy and got to run out for the candy, they think the world of it. So when you're out there and you're talking to your friends and family and you sit in there making gestures to businesses and stuff like that, if you go out of your way and actually tell them, first off, this is why we know each other, okay, which you can establish that early on, and then actually tell them, hey, you matter. I just want to make sure you're okay. I just want you to know you're important. Now, all of a sudden, in the back of their mind, no matter what kind of day they were having, they now know that somebody else is thinking about them when they didn't think anybody in the world was thinking about them. For some people, that could be a very, very big deal, seeing how, you know, uh oh, here comes an ambulance. Just a second here. Just a second, I got an ambulance coming at me. I'm pulling over to the side of the road. So that uh, the ambulance go by. Of course, I got, I got people passing me while the ambulance goes by, which is kind of stupid because it's like a funeral procession. You pull over to the side, you offer respect, but the ambulance, you get out of their way because they're trying to save a life. You know, that second that you get in front of them because you think your job's more important is the second that that person needed to stay alive. So at any time you can, make sure to offer those heroes that are in those uh, ambulance and police and fire trucks. Give them the right away. Okay, back to what I was saying. Anyway, so when you call up somebody, tell them, hi, how you doing? When you call up a family member or a friend, you know, I watch people and I ask, when's the last time you talked to your mom or your dad? Oh, it's been a couple weeks. It's been a couple months. Really a couple months? I was like, man, I leave town every once in a while. When I was in the Marine Corps, I tried to call my dad and my family as much as I could. And now I watch my family when they get families of their own, you know, they kind of drop off the face of the earth. Not intentionally, but they forget that they're important to a lot of people and they get really, really busy. So we want to kind of go back to making sure we are talking with, I'm going to probably lose signal here in just a second. And we want to make sure that we're talking to our Marine Corps brothers and sisters, our Army brothers and sisters, Navy, Coast Guard, you know, stuff like that, National Guard, Reserves. Make sure we're just saying hi to people. Make sure we're talking to our moms and our dads, you know, and making sure we're forgiving our friends. You know, I, I there's to this day, there's people back in junior high, it's really funny, and even high school, that still hold grudges from something they no longer understand or no longer even know what the real story was. There's people out there, they gossip and they use drama for things that never happened. But, you know, it's like the old game telephone. They've gone on for so long now. And it's kind of funny, you know, if they would just learn to forgive and forget instead of remembering remorse and just learn that, you know what, guess what? People change. People are not the same today as who they used to be. You know, people every day have the option of getting better with time, getting more knowledgeable, becoming more sensible. And what we need to do is we need to just do little types of gestures of good faith. If somebody starts coming up to me and they start talking trash about somebody, I usually ask them, hey, is this important? Well, no, but I thought, why would I want to know? 
Well, because I just thought, no, I, I don't want to know. Because honestly, I don't think bad of these people. I don't think bad of that person. I don't think bad of the person that's telling me the problem. And quite frankly, I don't want to sit back and judge somebody based off what I hear from somebody else. And so, you know, it might upset that person I'm with and they may go talk, but that's just that person who they are. They need to be talking about somebody at all times. And I honestly don't want to hear anything negative about anybody. Quite frankly, I really don't care. The reason why is because people need to learn to forgive and let go. You know, I don't live off drama. Neither does the people that I know. I got around new friends and that's what I try to tell everybody every day. So going back to my original thing, simple gestures. If you cannot get, if one of your friends doesn't tell you that you matter and all they do is gripe on you the whole day, you need to start getting new friends. If somebody can't tell you that you're important and that you matter to them and that you're important to them and you can't tell somebody that, then you need to get around new people. The reason why is because you're important and you need to know about it. You need to get around people that are on the same wavelength as you. You need to get around people. They may not understand what you do, but they respect what you do. They may not know all the details of what you do, but they're going to support you in any way, shape, or form. They may not be a member of yours or buy anything from your sales, but that doesn't matter. What matters is they still support you in what you do. And they're not about to ever do anything that would take away from your happiness. Just like you would never do anything to take away from theirs. So call up a friend, a family, a loved one. Find a Marine online or a soldier online or somebody and tell them, Hey, I just saw that you're in the service. I just saw, I just want you to know you matter and you're important. Take a second out of the day to take a second for somebody else. Small gestures appreciation, you know? In the summertime... If you see a couple cops that are out there on the corners sitting there looking for, you know, go buy them a, a thing of water, okay? Or at least stop, shake their hand, say thank you very much for what you're doing. Let them know they're appreciated because you know what? They get all these people all the time that are nasty sometimes and they need to hear that they're important. They make minimum wage just like everybody else. They may make a little more, but they got families and stuff at home also. With your kids or at school. You know, I know something, tell them, call up the teacher every once in a while and say, thank you for teaching my son or daughter, you know. Try to communicate with the teachers. Not only is it going to be good for your child that you're staying in touch with the teachers, but the teachers feel like they're important also because you're letting them know that what they do matters. You know, don't sit there and put all the blame on the teachers for what should be going on at home. That's just stupid, you know. Let heroes know they matter. Let them know they're important. When you get on a school bus, teach your kids to tell the school bus driver thank you and that they mean the world to them. When you get on a public transit, you know, tell the bus driver, hey, I just want you to know you're awesome. Thanks for giving me a ride. Whether you're paying for it or not doesn't matter. But these little kind gestures mean the world to people. Anyway, my name's Jeff. I've got to get my little girl. That's where I'm heading to right now because it's Tuesday. And I'll be back on later talking with you. Just letting you know that you matter and you're important. And if you didn't matter and you weren't important, if I didn't believe in people, I wouldn't be doing any of these. Why? Because I think sometimes we just need a reminder that life is short and we need to make sure to take all the time in the world we can to do what's important and do what matters the most. It may not make us any money, it may not make us any sales, and it's not supposed to. Kindness is not about selling. Kindness is about just making sure people are happy. Anyway, I'll talk to everybody later. Talk to you soon.